Boris Johnson denies UK politics is corrupt, amid fury over lobbying and second jobs. Here's a summary of the article. Boris Johnson has been forced to dismiss suggestions Britain's political system is corrupt at a crunch international climate change summit. Speaking at the COP26 conference in Glasgow, the Prime Minister's efforts to encourage world leaders to take action on saving the planet were overshadowed by questions over the conduct of some MPs. His return to the summit comes amid a row over second jobs in the wake of the controversy about Owen Patterson being found to have broken the centuries-old ban on paid lobbying by MPs. The latest outrage involves claims former cabinet minister Sir Geoffrey Cox breached parliamentary rules by undertaking external work from his Westminster office. I think what you have got is cases where, sadly, MPs have broken the rules in the past, may be guilty of breaking the rules today. What I want to see is them facing appropriate sanctions. Taking a tough line on sleaze, Johnson said MPs found to have broken conduct rules should be punished. He said, on the issue of MPs and second jobs and all that, I just want to say that the most important thing is that those who break the rules must be investigated and should be punished. He said that while in the past MPs doing second jobs such as doctors, lawyers or soldiers had strengthened democracy, it was essential they put their constituents first if that was to continue. And the rules say two crucial things. You must put your job as an MP first and you must devote yourself primarily and above all to your constituents and the people who send you to Westminster, to Parliament. This post received a score of 22,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. We've investigated ourselves and found that we aren't a bunch of corrupt wankers. We sure are glad old Boris cleared this one up for us. A damn good detective he is. Oops, I dropped something. S. Sarcasm on Reddit has become completely spineless. Because it goes over everyone's head but to be fair a certain group of internet detectives really holds true to some crazy ideas and almost nothing is beyond a doubt crazy in comparison. Says the man who had a free luxurious holiday at a billionaire's holiday house who just happened to recently get peerage. Greater than says the man who had multiple free luxurious holiday SFTFY. Greater than says the man who looks like old whole and days. Like a cross between a head injury and an unmade bed. Frankie Boyle. A purposefully unmade bed. Tracy Emin has entered the chat. LOL. When our ex-drugs minister had to move into a different role because she is married to the managing director of British Sugar, largest producer and exporter of medicinal cannabis on the planet, I think that's some form of corruption. A conservative MP telling us how harmful and illegal cannabis is for us while her husband makes a fortune growing and selling it. Show. I think her latest role has something to do with Afghan refugees or something so her husband's company is probably branching out into heroin or something. Greater than a conservative MP telling us how harmful and illegal cannabis is for us while her husband makes a fortune growing and selling it. She was just following in Theresa May's footsteps. Her husband's investment company, Capital Group, was a major shareholder in GW Pharmaceuticals. You couldn't make it up. And G4S who have more members than the armed forces and tons of lucrative government contracts. Greater than and tons of lucrative government contracts most of which were no-bid contracts. NHS test and trace which they ran cost roughly 30 billion quid and was so ineffective that a report later determined that it had no discernible effect on COVID numbers. Mate I could write the test and trace app in a week myself. I basically made it for a programming module like five years ago. The whole thing is a fucking joke LMAO. It's not even that hard to write the back end that does all the hard stuff. Wish I got paid 30 billion for a college assignment. Instead I owe them 70,000 pounds. Test and trace cost 30 billion pounds. The vast vast majority on the significant amount of free testing we did as well as sequencing to identify the different variants. Yes the Tories have wasted daft amounts of our money in the past two years. And beyond lol but saying we spent £30 billion on an app is just stupid. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.